Hello, what's up, YouTube? We are here 13 days, 16 hours, 32 minutes, and 25 seconds away from the Path of Exile Incursion League release. We are getting excited each and every day, counting down the days uh, to the next league for the newest content patch for Path of Exile. Today, we've got a couple of new corruptions to take a look at. They are both exciting and will be added uh, to a list one that was revealed uh, today for armor, for uh, chest armor, and one that was revealed today for rings. So without further ado, typically this is what you can get on a corrupted ring uh, implicit modifier. You can get this list. This is a list generated from the very, very helpful crafting website, poe.afix. I always recommend that you use this website whenever you're trying to craft anything before you have um, any of the numbers memorized on what's tier one, what it is that you're actually rolling for or crafting. Definitely bookmark this website. It's a great website. But you can see here that uh, Corrupted Rings have got a decent sized list of possible corruptions. Uh, they can give you uh, some curses um, as just a granted skill. Uh, as a bonus, they can add some chaos damage uh, here and there. They can increase some elemental damage with weapons. But really, there's nothing that uh, just stands out and says, hey, you really want to corrupt all your rings. This is oftentimes why people don't run uh, corrupted rings in their gear. However, this may all change when we look and we see the announcement uh, today that we now are going to have an added uh, potential aura effect, a boost to our aura effects uh, onto certain uh, rings. We're not sure if this is specific for a, a base type or a particular type of ring, but we know at least on this particular ring, on Kikazu, which is a unique, but chances are this Vol roll has got a chance to roll onto other rings as well. Uh, it gives Hatred has 19% increased aura effect. So how many builds out there, like raise your hand right now if you've run a build that uses Hatred. Pretty much everybody, if you've run an attack-based build at any point in time, you've probably used Hatred. Whether it's for leveling, whether it's for mapping, whether it's for bossing, whether it's for clearing, chances are you've probably used Hatred uh, at some point. So definitely a useful corruption. And now it may actually mean that at certain points in time, we're going to get awesome rings that have got awesome resistances or awesome particular uh, stats that your build in particular needs. And you may go, you know what, I'm going to corrupt it because it's got all of the things that I need. You don't have to worry about, you know, hitting right colors or hitting right links on, on rings. You could line up several different rings that have just got awesome base stats, you know, life resistances, and then maybe some attributes, you know, or especially early on in the league and just start volling them and see what comes of it. Um, could be a great way to make some some money early on in a the league. Then the second thing is a corruption for a chess piece. You can see here that there's actually a couple of different uh, great corruptions available on uh, chess pieces. Most notably, the most memeable one, plus one to level of gems in this item. It's great to get with a corrupted comb's heart. <laughs> uh, it gives you skill gems in this item. Get mana multiplier, chance to shock, plus gems. Uh, cannot be knocked back. Some chaos res, chance to avoid being ignited, frozen. Plus one to maximum all resistances. That's always great. That's usually what people are looking for. Plus one to two uh, uh, to two level of vol gems in this item, which that may get reworked with the whole um, change in how Vol skills work. And then Grants level 15, Purity Ice, uh, uh, Fire, and Lightning. And now this bad boy is getting added into that. We see a Belly of the Beast, which is a full worm scale base, and it gives plus two to level of socketed AoE gems. Yeah, so let that sink in. So all of you who are using Sunder or if you're using Ground Slam or if you're using Tectonic Slam, or if you're using, um, my goodness, uh, what else is AoE? If you're using Face Breakers, if you're using Ancestral War Chief, like there's a ton of gems in this game that include AoE as as an effect. I mean, really, this this kind of corruption can become best in slot for a six link, um, no doubt about it. For for many many many. Uh, chess pieces that are either clearing builds or even if they're bossing builds, but you just have an AOE uh, gem that you want to use. This could be huge and really uh, push the damage for a lot of different folks. Like there are a lot of players who are not going to be in that top five to 10% players that are, you know, sh farming guardians and farming shaper. There's just a lot of us that are going to be, you know, leveling to 80 and then moving on to another character. Well, this could now potentially, if you roll it on your level 80 character's chess piece, go, oh, wow, now I've got the damage to push through and I really want to continue this character and see how far I can take this character as opposed to just re-rolling onto a new character. So uh, those are our announcements for today. Really exciting. 
uh, to see that they're adding some more corruptions. Vol gems are always super duper risk reward oriented. You know, you can brick an item, you can just totally waste a bunch of currency on something, or you could make something just utterly ridiculous. You can make a unique, extra special, or make a rare, just utterly outrageously awesome for your build. So uh, really exciting to see that there's going to be more options for that risk reward variable added with Path of Exile 3.3 and with the release of the Incursion League. So stay tuned tomorrow uh, for more, of course, hype videos as we are counting down the days to when Incursion is released.